Hi, this is Jay Lee. Thank you for joining me as I conduct this experiment. Hopefully people will be able to see their very first UFO. And if you've already seen a UFO, uh, all the better because obviously they trust you. And, uh, but I'm gonna need your help. I need you to send them over to my location here in Silmar. Silmar is a little bit uh, north of Los Angeles and I need you to telepathically send them to my location over here. Uh, my cameras are at the ready. Uh, I'm ready to capture them live. For you guys uh, i'm not messing around here so stay tuned and i'm going to show you how we do this two things i want to get accomplished with this experiment number one prove that ufo rtcc works this is remote telepathic collective communication i need you to look up in the sky concentrate and telepathically say thank you for listening to me i'm asking you to visit my friend jay lee in silmar california he's there waiting for you right now when you arrive please give him a sign that you are there teach him something so that he can teach all of us show him something amazing now i want you to personalize your message as best you can let them know that it's you talking and not a script if there's something specific you are looking for and you want me to capture, let them know. In the comment section, tell me the city where you live and if you requested something. I'm going to capture everything with my V520 so I'll be able to show the time. Like I said earlier, I'm not messing around here. If you go to my website, trilate.com, I've made a pledge never to fake anything. I've seen so many things, crazy things, that I want to share with you. I know that this is going to work, I just need more data to prove it. Anyway, the rest of the video is to show you exactly where I'm at in Silmar and to tell you how and why this thing works. Visualize honing in on my location as you telepathically send them a message to go to where I'm at. The reason why this works is because we're all connected physically and consciously. Not only are we all made up of the same materials, the carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, calcium, we're all space dust. We're all comprised of molecules forged from the hearts of stars and supernova. And we have a conscious connection also. Quantum entanglement is the physical connection, then there's the quantum consciousness. We are all connected consciously. This is why when you think of your mother, brother, sister, or friends, they'll call you. This is why when you sometimes call a friend, they'll tell you they were just thinking of you. We're connected. There's some sort of law of attraction. Although our conscious telepathic signals to each other are weak, when we send the same signals to them, they hear us. How do we know this? Because when we call, they come to our location. I know it sounds weird, but this is the truth. Either we or our technology haven't evolved enough to solidify this fact, but we all know it's real. I didn't believe it either in the beginning, but I'll tell you I've seen them hundreds of times and I've seen some crazy stuff. If I didn't see anything, I would have given up a long time ago. I'm as skeptical as the next guy. So I tried and tried again until they began to show up for me, and it really changed my life because now I discovered the truth. I'm nothing special. You can do this too. In order for you to see them, they have to trust you. You have to establish a connection, and this is one of the best ways you can do it. When you call, you build credibility. It won't be long before they start showing up for you, but we'll talk about that later. For now, let me show you what's out there. So send them over to Silmar. I believe that if you understand this stuff, you're halfway there. In my business, I believe understanding is half the cure. It's important that you gain this understanding. So I live in this little town north of Los Angeles called Silmar. I'm pretty close to where the 210 freeway meets the 5. When I call, I usually have a flashing beacon on my roof. I don't know if it's necessary to have visual aids in order to pinpoint me, but I do it anyway. This beacon attracts all kinds of things that fly around in this area. I get birds that hover over me like hawks and insects that fly into the shiny lights. Birds like to dive bomb it every once in a while and some just like to land and check it out. So I know that this attracts attention. So when you see that I am live, try to go somewhere so you could see the sky. I want you to visualize what you're watching. I want you to envision where I am at in Silmar. Let them know to go to Silmar in Southern California. I'm here waiting for them. Tell them to give me a sign when they arrive. Ask them to teach me something so that I can teach you. Invite all that hear your invitation, go to Silmar, the place next to the mountains with flashing lights on the roof. Let them know it's safe here. This has to be a personal message, so this has got to be from the heart. So say what you want to say. And like I said before, if you want, ask for something specific. But write what you want to see in the comment section or email me. This will give me a timestamp. If something shows up with those characteristics, then I'll know it's you. No matter what we see, we'll scrutinize it and look for atypical and uncharacteristic qualities. 
Will we see performance capabilities beyond our current understanding, or will we see things that will defy our modern day physics? Please keep in mind that flying saucers can be UFOs, but not all UFOs are flying saucers. When we find aliens, they may be different from what we expect. It might be life of a different sort, one we don't understand as of yet. You've heard of marine biology? What we see may be atmospheric biology. We've only explored 5% of our oceans. How much less have we explored our skies? Some people have asked me, what do brain waves sound like? What do they hear when we send them a signal? I refer them to a video which I'll put in the description of Miguel Nicolias of Brazil. He discovered our brain waves sound like static AM radio mixed with popping popcorn. Here's a short segment from his TED of talk. Populations of neurons producing this kind of storms. And the sound of a brainstorm, if you've never heard one, it's somewhat like this. You could put it louder if you, if you could. My son calls this making popcorn while listening to a badly tuned AM station. This is a brain. This is what happens when you route these electrical storms to a loudspeaker and you listen to a hundred brain cells firing. Your brain will listen, or it will sound like this. My brain, any brain. And what we Visually and telepathically send them a message to come to my location here in Silmar and stick around. Be patient. This is like sky fishing. of neurons producing this kind of storms. And the sound of a brainstorm, if you've never heard one, is somewhat like this. You could put it louder if you, if you could. My son calls this making popcorn while listening to a badly tuned AM station. This is a brain. This is what happens when you route these electrical storms to a loudspeaker and you listen to a hundred brain cells firing. Your brain will listen or it will sound like this. My brain, any brain. And what we want... Hi, this is Jay Lee. Thank you for joining me as I conduct this experiment. Hopefully people will be able to see their very first UFO. And if you've already seen a UFO, uh, all the better because obviously they trust you and uh, but I'm gonna need your help I need you to send them over to my location here in Silmar. Silmar is a little bit uh, north of Los Angeles and I need you to telepathically send them to my location over here uh, my cameras are at the ready uh, I'm ready to capture them live for you guys uh, I'm not messing around here so stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how we do this <laughs> Two things I want to get accomplished with this experiment. Number one, prove that UFO RTCC works. This is remote telepathic collective communication. I need you to look up in the sky, concentrate, and telepathically say thank you for listening to me. I'm asking you to visit my friend Jay Lee in Silmar, California. He's there waiting for you right now. When you arrive, please give him a sign that you are there. Teach him something so that he can teach all of us. Show him something amazing. Now I want you to personalize your message as best you can. Let them know that it's you talking and not a script. If there's something specific you are looking for and you want me to capture, let them know. In the comment section, tell me the city where you live and if you requested something. I'm going to capture everything with my V520 so I'll be able to show the time. Like I said earlier, I'm not messing around here. If you go to my website, trilate.com, I've made a pledge never to fake anything. I've seen so many things, crazy things, that I want to share with you. I know that this is going to work, I just need more data to prove it. Anyway, the rest of the video is to show you exactly where I'm at in Silmar and to tell you how and why this thing works. Visualize honing in on my location as you telepathically send them a message to go to where I'm at.
of populations of neurons producing this kind of storms. And the sound of a brainstorm, if you've never heard one, is somewhat like this. You could put it louder if you, if you could. My son calls this making popcorn while listening to a badly tuned AM station. This is a brain. This is what happens when you route these electrical storms to a loudspeaker and you listen to a hundred brain cells firing. Your brain will listen, or it will sound like this. My brain, any brain. And what we Visually and telepathically send them a message to come to my location here in Silmar and stick around. Be patient, this is like sky fishing. of neurons producing this kind of storms. And the sound of a brainstorm, if you've never heard one, is somewhat like this. You could put it louder if you, if you could. My son calls this making popcorn while listening to a badly tuned AM station. This is a brain. This is what happens when you route these electrical storms to a loudspeaker and you listen to a hundred brain cells firing. Your brain will listen or it will sound like this. My brain, any brain. And what we want.